Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to start our Zero to Hero series with Episode 1. With this account, I will be working my way through the very beginning stages of Albion Online, starting with the beginner's tutorial. This series will start a great guide for completing the tutorial and learning a bit more about the game in general. Before starting the tutorial, all I could think about was the what build should I run. And after thinking about it a lot, I decided that, you know what, I'll just create a pool and ask my viewers. After asking you guys, it definitely seems like you guys want to see me run daggers, builds, even more. Um, whether it be claws, black hands, or the blood letter, you guys seem to like dagger builds. And you know what, I think it's a lot of fun, so we're going to go with it. But don't worry, because I saw a lot of you guys also wanted to see me do some shot calling and maybe run a tank build, because that's kind of unique compared to all the people that run dagger builds um, and you know you guys kinda want something new so I plan on running a ZVZ tank build um, just kind of as a secondary uh, obviously right away I won't be going the tank build um, the daggers will help me reach the silver income I want and by providing me with the opportunity to gank and run hellgates and do the upcoming solo dungeons with an abundance of silver Pretty much everything else becomes much easier. So my current goal for episode 1 is to level up my daggers, finish the tutorial, and collect my 3 free days of premium. For the sake of the Zero to Hero series, I will be completing everything in the free to play style and format. Meaning I will not purchase any gold, silver, or premium membership at this time. Thanks to you guys for trying to offer free silver to get me back on my feet. Although, for this series, I will not be accepting any handouts. I will be doing this from scratch, like most of you once did or are currently doing. I plan on showing you all of my steps and creating a fresh account into something much, much more. I have some experience with gathering, crafting, farming on my main account. However, in this series, I will be skipping straight past what some of you consider the boring stuff and then jumping into the black zone for things like hidden treasures, ganking with friends and low tier claws, and fame farming, whether it be alone or with friends. One thing I definitely suggest for all new players is finding friends and players that enjoy doing the same kind of things that you enjoy. There are many Albion Online discords that share many players looking for groups. Whether it be Hellgates, random dungeons, ganking, or gathering, finding a good guild or a group of players will get you on the fast path to tier 8. I hope you guys enjoy this series as I will spending a lot of time editing and trying to perfect showing you everything you want to see without showing you the boring footage. This is episode one of Zero to Hero. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the grind. Alright, so as we shoot through this tutorial, you'll see that, you know, I'm kind of trying to fly through it. I'm not really uh, gathering extra resources for money, and I'm not really leveling up anything past, you know, what, what it needs to be leveled up to. Um, after doing this tutorial, I realized how long it's actually been, and, you know, I messed up a few times doing the wrong things or doing things out of order. Um, so that's why I have a lot of cuts here, just trying to save you guys some time. And that's going to be a main part of this, uh, you know, series, is going to be trying to cut out the parts you guys don't really need to be seeing. Um, and that's going to be happening a lot, so let me know if I'm doing too many cuts, or, you know, what you would like to see a little bit more of, you know. This is going to be all about you guys. Um, I'm going to be trying to show you guys how to kind of advance faster. Um, you know, we've all we've all been in the tutorial before. Um, we've all started fresh and brand new at one point in time. Uh, whether it's been, you know, recently or not, that's kind of going to be the whole trick of the trade here. I mean, a lot of you guys don't really even remember what it was like to, you know, be a beginner. Um, being, a, being a starting player, it's a lot different than, you know, starting an account skipping the tutorial and just trading over some money to this is going to be a completely from scratch build um, we're going to be running like I said daggers and you know a tank secondary uh, for ZVZs once I get to that point that I can start running back in ZVZs and getting some you know good alliance versus alliance or you know even GVGs if possible um, I will be getting back to that competitive play hopefully as soon as possible um, obviously, it's not going to be right away. We're going to focus on kind of making money and getting to that, you know, chance of being able to actually, um, you know, earn the money to buy that expensive gear. And, you know, we're going to do a lot of fame farming, a lot of solo content um, for the time being. As, you know, a lot of you guys in the beginning don't have a lot of guild mates or friends that are also playing. So we're going to try to show you guys some solo content that will kind of help you guys, you know, progress 
um, as well. I mean, obviously with the big update, the Percival update or whatever you guys want to call it, the update is coming, I think it was July 10th or something, um, very soon basically. And it's going to have a lot of um, benefits to it with the solo dungeons coming to the game. It's going to be amazing and a lot of fun. Um, currently, there's those solo dungeons that, you know, in my last solo content video, you were able to see what the green little dots were on the mini-map. Uh, they were basically solo dungeons uh, that people can come in and kill you for the loot. But, like I said, it's not very good loot and just okay fame. So, we're going to probably find some guildmates or friends to do some fame farms just to get out of the low, low tier levels. And then we'll probably do some ganking. Once we, I mean, even at tier four claws, you can do ganking. So, you know, right here, you're kind of just seeing uh, the tutorial, like I said earlier. And we are just skipping passes everything as fast as we can. Um, we are going to be going triple leather um, armor. And that's going to be actually the set we're going to be leveling is, you know, triple leather. And then we're actually not going to level the bow any, but it actually goes under the same destiny. Um, once you fulfill the novice uh, bow, it goes to a journeyman hunter. And that's going to be under the same category as daggers at tier 2 and 3. So it's actually going to work out for us. As we finally get to the bridge after completing all the missions, um, this will give us a 3 free day um, premium membership, which is you know a very big benefit. Uh, right here, I'm going to be kind of looking up, you know, where do I want to go? Um, there's a lot of starting cities, you know, but the strategy I'm going to kind of take is going to the Black Zone really early on. Um, you know, what I end up doing is going to Highland Cross, which is right next to Marlock. The reason I do this is because I've had so much, you know, both times I started a new account, I started in Highlands Cross and I started in the Martlock area. So right here you just saw I do have that three free days of premium. I'm going to bank everything but the gear I have right now into this Highlands Cross Bank. Um, and I'm going to use this three free days of premium in, in my inventory. We're going to speed it up really quickly right here for you guys because we are going to make the run all the way to Martlock. Um, later, I mean, <laughs> after I did this, obviously you're going to find out that I made mistakes. Like not bringing that loot, there was really no reason not to bring that loot or at least sell it at that place I was just at, Highlands Cross. I could have brought the loot and sold it at Marlock as well. Um, it wouldn't have gave me a lot of silver, but every little piece of silver in the beginning does help. Um, but, you know, it's not going to be a big deal. As we do finally end up getting to Martlock, um, what I realize here is probably the biggest mistake of all. But, you know, like any Zero to Hero, build, uh, Zero to Hero series, you're going to have a little mistakes in the beginning. Um, that are going to end up leading to better things. Um, so once I got here, I you know banked my three days of premium right away. Um, and what I didn't realize is looking around at the map um, in the black zone, um, you know I want to eventually do stuff in Carleon. That's where you know the guilds I want to be joining is. Um, that's where all the you know black zone content seems to be is for the most part in the Carleon realm gate area. So. Right here, I'm just actually going to be selling all of my tier 2 uh, gear, including my mount and everything, so I can fast teleport. Because the place I want to be is actually Fort Sterling. Fort Sterling has a, has a black zone right next to Carleon. So when I go out there and I want to get to the Carleon Realm Gate, and I'm, so I'm not locked, the Fort Sterling will be right next to Carleon. I'll easily be able to just go boom, boom. Uh, Martlox is literally on the opposite side of Carleon, so this is just thinking for future reference. Um, this is a great place for me to stop as well, because what you're going to end up seeing here is I did put those all on sell orders, and I'll come back in a day or two, and you know those sell orders are all going to be probably bought, um, and then I will have that silver and be able to start my journey at Fort Sterling. If you guys enjoyed episode one, episode two is going to have a lot more content, and I'll see you there.